Hey guys, welcome back to Planet J. Judah, and first of all, I would like to say thank you so much to all of you that have reached out to me, whether it be email or comments. Uh, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, because I really needed, I really needed it. I appreciate it, and I'm coming out of that dark place by crocheting and just, you know, Yesterday, I had a huge breakthrough, sort of, if you want to call it that, but I was watching a uh, YouTuber that live streams at theme parks, and he was at Knott's Berry Farm doing the fireworks for 4th of July, and my sister was there also. I knew she was there, so I went to um, Beautiful Tomorrow TV, and I will post a link to the video and time stamps to look it up because I mean it was just really cool he interacted with me I mean it's like really interacted with me but um, I knew that my sister was there so I wanted to watch the fireworks with her so and there's a two hour difference between here and Kansas so for me it was like 11 11.30 is when the fireworks started, but anyways, not to get too rambly, um, I'm watching the fireworks, and then the fireworks are done, and Tony from Beautiful Tomorrow TV starts to walk around, and I never thought I would see my sister in his video, but there she was, sitting at the end of a table, and... I was like, oh my gosh, there's my sister. I actually see, I knew she was there, but I actually saw her in his video. And I made a comment about that. And then at some point he asks, all right guys, what do we want to do next? And jokingly, I said, find my sister. And he was like, find your sister? So he took it as a quest. And it was real. <laughs> like He actually went to go find her. Meanwhile, she was already trying to catch up to him. Just so that she could get in front of them and be able to wave. <laughs> but no, he actually went to go find her. And she ended up catching up to him and uh, had a little conversation and said, Hi, Jules. And uh, anyways, that just brought me so much happiness and really plucked me out of the darkness. It takes something so simple like that to do that. And like I said, I'm going to post that video. It's a three hour long video, almost four hour long video. But like I said, I'm going to post a link to it in my description box below, box below, including the timestamps for where you need to look for where it's either conversational that he acknowledges my telling him to go look for her to discussing, looking for her to her finding him. And then anyways. Uh, so I'll put that in the description box below. Um, as you can see from the thumbnail, we are going to be doing a tissue box cover. But before I get to that, I had posted, did a little short of the hat, this hat, that I had made for myself. And the hat that I made for my little granddaughter Punky that was actually kind of too small and then redoing it and having not enough yarn to finish and we're back stupid phone anyways I had asked in that short whether I should leave it as is add another um, row to create a double you know row brim like I have here see there's this row and then this row but using another color and I was thinking pink and I didn't really get any reaction to that however I did get one comment thank you Michelle for commenting and I hope you had a great 4th of July yesterday because uh, you also commented on that uh, but Michelle suggested white and so I was like hmm okay white would be cool and I put the whites that I have I did I was like soft white question mark and I do have a soft white, but I also have a bright white and I have a sparkly white. So I was like putting them together and it just seemed 
a bit harsh. And then I realized I'm using yellow in today's project. So you know what? That yellow would be perfect. And here is the end result. I added the yellow using the same, you know, uh, half double crochet stitch. And so, I mean, literally it looks almost identical to this. <laughs> Do you see that? That's so crazy. So this yellow was such a perfect match for the hat. And I would have never gone in that direction if Michelle hadn't said, suggested white. Because I was leaning towards pink, but I really didn't like, I wasn't vibing with the pink. But I totally vibe with this yellow. So thank you, Michelle, for pushing me in that direction. I am so glad I did it. This is Punky's hat. And when I get the opportunity to take a picture with her in it and me with mine, I will put it as a post. So look forward to that. But now let's get to the project at hand. We, I had already shown one of the squares because I had this was my first multi-yarn granny square that I had ever done. And I chose it in colors, ironically, to my nails. <laughs> or close to it. Which was really funny because I didn't plan it. I did not plan it to match my nails. Um, and I didn't think that these colors... I mean, I would have never put these colors together on their own. So it was just weird that I did that. But needless to say... I made a total of four granny squares to put around my tissue box. This is going to actually be for my mommy-in-law. And so this was the first square that I had showed you guys, I believe. Or at least this colorway was this. And I was trying to figure out what to do because I couldn't just change do because it would have been only three square or three pa um, panels. So I wanted to, I'm like going, what can I do to make the next three squares, but have it still be really cohesive and, and look really good. And my mommy in law, Mary said, do two and two. So I was like, okay. So then I did this square because I knew I was going to do the burgundy in as a trim. So I didn't want the burgundy to be next to it, next to the trim. So I have done two of these and two of these. And as you can see, I have stitched, I have crocheted them all together. I did a uh, single crochet, putting them together and then did a single crochet row to form, finish the border at the bottom. And so now we are going to make the top. And in doing so, I'm going to do it in a raglan style. So uh, creating the hole. I've never done a raglan styled shirt or sweater or whatever. But I know that using the raglan style, it um, creates the hole and then it expands. Well, it expands because you're putting multiple um, stitches in the corners. So you're, you chain however many that can be divisible by four because you're wanting the four, um, the four uh, stitches to make a hole. And I need it to be in a square. So I'm going to do a 32 chain. I'm going to chain 32 and it will be corner seven chains, corner, seven chains, corner, seven chains, corner, seven chains. So that will create my square and then it will expand as I go around and hopefully I will be able to create the square that will fit this so that I can sew it together. So um, first let me tell you what colors I have used for all of this. I am the, I, all of the yarn is um, Red Heart Super Saver. And the blue, or green if you want to call it, they call it minty, menthol, menta, there you go. It looks more blue to me. I mean, I know it's not blue, blue, but I see more blue as opposed 
as opposed to green, but I do see green as well. But so it's minty. That's the blue green color. The burgundy is uh, burgundy, literally. There you go. And then the yellow is pale yellow, I believe. Yes, pale yellow. So those are my three colors. And mom's favorite color is yellow and pale yellow. So that is the color of choice for my top. And then obviously I will join it to the rest of this with the burgundy. So like I said, we're going to do it in a raglan style. Hopefully I've never done this before. So hopefully I do this successfully. So let's go ahead and get started. And I will bring you down in just a second. First, let me tell you that the hook that I'm using is a G7 4.5 millimeter. There you go. So that's the, that's the hook that we are using. And of course, like I said, the yarn is uh, Super Saver, so if you know, or Red Heart, so if you know Red Heart, um, it is 100% acrylic. It is in medium for weight. Where is that at? There we go. Now, it suggests using a hook that is 5.5, .5, but I wanted a little bit tighter um, stitches, so that's why I went down to the 4.5. All right, now let's get you brought down and let's get started. This is an experiment. I hope it works. All right, so of course we are going to start with a slip stitch and now we are going to chain 32. So that's my first corner. One, whoops, two, three, four, five, six, whoops, seven, and then corner.
right, well, as you can see, I didn't exactly do because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This being the eighth. And then I have one, two, three extra chains. So I'm going to have to undo this, redo it, and see where I can fix it. But I'm, I'm getting the idea. I see what I need to do. Um, basically, this is what I'm, my end result is what I'm wanting. So I'm going to try and figure that out. And then I'll bring you back when I'm at this point with it correct. All right, I did it. Yay. Now I'm going to be going around and finishing up in the square. Woohoo! Alright guys, it's done. Obviously it's not perfect and that's okay. So let's see. Oh, and obviously you can see I put a border there. There we go. A little. There we go. I'm gonna sew it together on this and then I will bring you back when it's all done. All right guys, it is finished. I am so excited. This is so many firsts. It is the first time I have done a multi yarn granny square. It is the first time I have done a raglan anything. And it is the first time that I have done a tissue box cover. <laughs> There are a lot of mistakes that, you know, but still, I don't care. It, it does. It, it works. It works. I did it. I'm excited. I am so proud of this. Now let's see it on the box. Again, keep in mind, it is my first one. It is not perfect in any way, but there you go. Is that not the coolest thing ever? I'm so excited. It is, oh man. And I have, this is my favorite color combo at the moment. I absolutely love these colors and I want to do so much more <laughs> with these colors. And I did it! Am I proud? Can you tell? <laughs> Let's say a huge toast, cheers, whatever. Get your glass of wine or whatever it is that you want. <laughs> Apparently my phone had other ideas. Let's try that again. Cheers! Mm. It's so pretty! All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this today's video. I had a blast putting it all together. I am, I'm just really happy that it's done and I'm really happy that it does what it's supposed to. And I know my mommy-in-law loves it. She's already told me. So with that, remember, gravity works, guys. Mm -hmm.